Hello there. Welcome back to Prof. Neil. It's a pleasure having you here. The relevance of Swami Vivekananda's message that he had left behind in 1890, that he had said in 1893, that's almost 130 years ago, which is relevant today for all of us, all across the world. This monk, disciple of none other than the former disciple of foremost disciple of none other than Swami Ramakrishna Paramahansa, was invited to address the first Parliament of Religions in Chicago in on 11th September 19, sorry, 1893. Now we know why I am recording this now, 11th September, that's in just just uh, in this, around this date, 130 years almost before. This monk not only drew attention for his saffron garb or for his handsome looks, nor for his stance, but for introducing Hinduism and Indian spirituality to the Western world. He moved the audience to applaud him no end by referring to them as my dear brothers and sisters of America. Nobody ever before him had referred to them as that. He thanked them in the name of the most ancient order of the monks in the world, thanked them in the name of the mother of all religions and in the name of all Hindu people of all sects and classes. His pride to belong to a religion that had taught the world both tolerance and acceptance, to accept all religions as equal, a religion and a nation that had sheltered the persecuted and refugees of all religions. He was referring, of course, to the Israelis who were, who were sheltered in South India after that holy temple had been shattered to pieces by the Roman Empire and to Zoroastrians who were sheltered in the western part of India. And then he recited to them a hymn from the Bhagavad Gita as the different streams having the sources in different parts which men take through their different tendencies though they appear crooked or straight all lead to thee a hymn that he said was repeated by him dearly and by all other hindus every day by millions of hindus across the country he hoped and prayed that the bell that rang that morning to signal the beginning of the august assembly would be the death knell of bigotry fanaticism and sectarianism which had caused wars bloodshed derailed the progress of civilization he said that had it not been for these demons these horrible demons society would be far more advanced for men to live in that great man's address was warning us to be careful but have we be have we with a penchant for causing wars genocide and ethnically cleaning out entire diasporas in the name of our religion embrace it message of Swami Vivekananda to enjoy the living in a civilized world. Thank you.